Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss the derivative of exponential functions. So if f of x is equal to e raised to x, then the e prime of x is equal to e raised to x. If f of x is equal to a raised to x, then e prime of x or the derivative of a raised to x is equal to a raised to x ln a where a is greater than 0. If f of x is equal to ln x, then f prime of x is equal to 1 over x. If f of x is equal to the logarithm of x with base a, then f prime of x is equal to 1 over x ln a where a is greater than 0. So for example, number 1, okay, find the derivative of f of x is equal to 3 times e raised to x. Okay, so first, uh, our exponential here, so e raised to x, no, the derivative of e raised to x here is also e raised to x in derivative. So, tingnan natin. So, f prime of x is equal to 3, okay, the constant times the derivative of this. So, the derivative of e raised to x, that is e raised to x pa din. So, the answer is 3 times e raised to x. Another example, g of x is equal to negative 4x squared e raised to x plus 5 x times e raised to x minus 10 times e raised to x. So, pwede tayo mag-apply dito ng product rule. So, ito yung yun natin, yung negative 4x squared, yung e raised to x naman yung v. Ganon din dito. So, yung 5x yung u, yung e raised to x yung v. And then, yung negative 10, yung u natin, e raised to x yung v. So, paano yun? So, negative 4x squared times the derivative of e raised to x. So, e raised to x pa din yun, Plus, e raised to x times the derivative of negative 4x squared. So, that is uh, negative 4x squared. So, 2 times negative 4, that is negative 8x. Okay, ito yun. Plus, Apply din natin yung product rule dito. So, 5x times yung derivative ng e raised to x plus e raised to x times the derivative of 5x which is 5 minus. So, ito uh, kanina pangatlong example na ito, di ba? Na kagaya, kan, uh, kagaya dun sa ano natin, sa trigonometric function. So, pwede rin natin i-apply yung product rules dyan. So, negative 10 raised to e ra uh, times e raised to x. And then, simplify natin. So, negative 4x squared times e raised to x. So, that is negative 4x squared e raised to x minus e raised to x times negative 8x. So, that is negative 8x e raised to x. Positive 5x times e raised to x. That is positive 5x e raised to x and e raised to x times 5 that is 5 e raised to x minus 10 e raised to x. So, dito class, pwede, tayong, pwede natin pagsamahin ito. Okay, yung negative 8x e raised to x saka positive 5x e raised to x saka itong 5 e raised to x minus 10 e raised to x. So, pwede natin silang pagsamahin. So, the final answer will be negative 4x squared e raised to x minus, so negative 8 plus 5, that is negative 3x e raised to x, and then 5 minus 10, that is negative 5 e raised to x. So that is, that will be the answer. Okay, so if u is a function of x, then d over dx eu is equal to e raised to u times the derivative of u over uh, du over dx. Okay. Susundan lang natin ito. So, for example, meron tayong y is equal to e raised to 4x plus 7. So, yung u natin is yung 4x plus 7. Okay? So, anong gagawin? Una, copy natin yung given natin and then kunin natin yung derivative ng u. So, copy the given and then kunin yung derivative ng u kung saan yung u natin is 4x plus 7. Okay? Okay? So, what is the derivative of 4x plus 7? So, that is 4. So, multiply e raised to 4x plus 7 times 4. The answer will be 4 times e raised to 4x plus 7. Okay, another example, we have f of x is equal to e raised to 2 cosine 3x. 
So, yung u natin dito is yung 2 cosine 3x. So, copy natin ito, then times yung derivative natin na 2 cosine 3x. Okay? So, copy. And then, yung derivative nito. So, anong magiging derivative nito? So, apply natin yung derivative no, sa trigonometric function. So, it will become 2 times. So, yung cosine natin, yung derivative ng cosine natin is negative sine. Copy yung 3x. And then, kunin natin yung derivative ng 3x. So, ano yung derivative ng 3x natin? That is 3. So, that is negative 2. So, that will become negative 2 sine 3x. Okay, so dapat may negative 2 sine 3x dito. So, ilagay natin. So, it will become, so multiply negative 2 times 3. So, pwede yun i-multiply natin. So, that is negative sine 3x. So, the final answer will be negative 6. Then, copy ito. E-raise to 2 cosine 3x times sine 3x. Okay, so itong 3 saka negative 2, minultiply natin at nilagay lang na sa unahan. Okay, this is the last example. So, y is equal to 5 raised to 3x squared minus 1. So, yung u natin dito is 3x squared minus 1. Okay, so using this one, so yung a u natin is 5 raised to 3x squared minus 1. And then yung u natin is 3x squared minus 1. So, kukunin natin yung a which is 5. So, sundan lang natin yan. So, that will be yung, yung ito class ay kagaya nito. No? Ito yung f, if f of x is equal to a raised to x, where a is the constant, so gagayahin natin ito. So, y prime is equal to 5, so copy natin yan, raised to 3x squared minus 1, ln, so yung a natin is 5, times the derivative of yung u natin. So, yung u natin is 3x squared minus 1. So, what is the derivative ng 3x squared minus 1? That is 6x. So, copy again, 5 raised to 3x squared minus 1, ln 5 times 6x. So, hindi natin sila pwede i-multiply. So, pwedeng ilagay yung 6x dun sa unahan. That will be 6x times 5 raised to 3x squared minus 1 and times ln 5. So, itong example number 5 natin ay ito yon Okay? Yung a natin dyan is yung constant. So, yung a natin dito is yung 5 and then yung x natin no, kung saan pwede rin lagay yung 3x squared minus 1 Thank you for watching this video I hope you learned something Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial This is your guide in learning your math lesson your wow math channel